Hey guys, I just wanted to give a little update of what's going on here in my in my Bible. I made this little uh, pocket yesterday. I well, here's what happened. I needed Bible tabs for this Bible. I'm doing the Bible in a year with Father Mike Schmitz. Usually I do Bible study in my church with my group and my ministries and uh, we do a lot of the work in the workbooks and I have another smaller Bible that I always brought along with me but then I was doing some random Bible journaling in this one here at home but I wasn't very consistent with it so you know now then came 2020 and <laughs> we were locked out of uh, the church for a while and luckily I'm you know good friends with uh, the ladies uh, in my ministry so we were able to get together a few times in the parking lot over the summer or somebody's backyard socially distanced and then we you know when the weather got colder we went to zoom meetings and we did uh, the Advent reflections and the now we're doing the Lenten reflections with Bishop Barron so, uh, long story short, <clears throat> I had put aside physical Bible journaling, but then I had traveled to Arizona for a couple of weeks in January to visit family, and I just took a chapter's notebook with me, and everything that I heard on the podcast from Father Mike Schmitz, I transposed in here, and I was doing a little bit of artwork and stuff like that. And I thought I was going to continue to keep doing it that. And then I was just replicating it here. It, you know, it was getting silly. I was doing, I was doing it in multiple, multiple places and it was just too much. <clears throat> so I tore a bunch of the pages and artwork that I had done in here and added them as tip-ins inside here, like, um, this one from Exodus when God, uh, turns the Nile uh, to blood. That was the beginning of the 10 plagues and uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, there's baby Moses because he was this one. <clears throat> baby Moses uh, just before he was rescued and down the Nile. Uh, and this is the Tower of Babel. This was a watercolor I had done of it. And then I just sort of replicated it here inside the Bible. <clears throat> Some other artwork about the um, beginning of creation. Anyway, uh, you know, the, the Bible is full of a lot of darkness and tragedy and but it's important to learn from that and our history and our ancestry. And, but I didn't want it to feel that heavy every time I opened it. I, we all know life is tragic and it's, yeah. Um, but you know, it's all the, it's also uh, full of love and light. If you read it correctly, you have the right theological teachers, instructing you, you know, you'll understand deeper and better and get greater meaning from it. Anyway, I'm <laughs> getting off. This is not about me um, preaching or teaching anything from the Bible that is not, it, there are people that do it much better than me. I'm just not articulate enough. I know it, I know it deep in my heart. I know it when I put it down in words, but sharing it verbally, I struggle with a little bit. Um, anyway, so I made this little uh, pocket out of just a piece of cardstock and I put all of my, well not all, but a bunch, I have a lot of floral washi and I thought it would just be pretty to make a little pocket here. I have a picture of my family in here and I could have just, you know, glued the picture of my family right here in the, on the front you know, inside cover, but in case there was anything else, you know, that was special that I wanted to uh, add inside there, I could. And I actually made this the full, so almost the full size of the page, but then I decided I wanted 
a little bit of room to be able to reach in there. So I just cut that off and now it's a bookmark. So we are on day 80 something of uh, the Bible in a Year podcast with Father Mike Schmitz. And I'm actually a few days behind, so I'm going to spend the rest of the day catching up because I'm doing uh, the gospel reflections at the same time. And I have a job and a family and <laughs> other things and uh, other journaling and writing that I do. So anyway, this is my plans today is to uh, finish catching up on this. And uh, there is the first of my little ribbons for my garden. So yeah, the garden is growing and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope everybody has a great day. Uh, take care, be safe, be well, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.